Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details. Fortunately for them, their DJ neighbour Matt Burgess couldn't sleep. This is Jared Walsh, who's doing great things in South Australia, Damo, in, uh, at Nova, where he's moved. Um, yep, one of, the, one of the leading Adelaide media identities. Representing the men and women on sporting fields across the globe, it's now time for another Best Team Men Podcast. Oh, hello everyone and thanks to Con and the Brighton Trophy Centre. This is the best team men yeah! for round 18. Jared Walsh, good oh, afternoon to you. I'm full of positivity. Um, I'm six minutes late. I apologise for that, but the cough is gone. The wind is gone. No, it's not. And <laughs> if you hear the B side of this recording, <laughs> well, it's certainly not gone. I'm turning over a new leaf. Is that whatever they say? Yes. And uh, it's full of positivity. This podcast. It's going to be a great round this round, Maddie. We've got so much to get through. We're going to have a special guest. We are going to talk about the strangest text message I received from you on Friday night. Yep. Um, of course, we need to talk about lots more as well, which we kind of make up as we go along. So thank you to our listeners who have put up with my voice and my flatulence over the past couple of weeks. I'm back. Jamie Manson. Heck Jamie was amazing. It's Mason. <laughs> what? Oh, it is. Hang on. No. Yeah, <laughs> is it, it is. What? Oh, it is too. Mason. I keep saying yeah. Manson. I don't no, know No, it's why. Manson. It is Manson. It is Manson. I told you. <laughs> um, shout out to a couple of new listeners very quickly. Jack Hudson at J Hudson underscore 10. Big Port Adelaide man, and uh, he's uh, done some great work um, in journalism. Uh, he was doing stuff at uh, The Advertiser, and uh, things kind of haven't worked out over the past couple of weeks, but um, I sent him a message the other night and said, mate, you are always very kind to me. Some trolls have been attacking him this week, and right. he's a legend, so thanks for listening. And Paul Bonza. Um, Paul is uh, the voice of the Adelaide Strikers. He does all the stuff over the the PA at Adelaide Oval. He used to be um, basically Mr. Fix-It at the Adelaide 36ers. He's a great man. He had a podcast called uh, Pickles and Bonds. Uh, What happened to Pickles? What's he about? I uh, changed his name to Gherkin, <laughs> and no, nah, they're both good lads, and uh, they actually do some commentary for the Adelaide 36ers games as well, and uh, yeah, they're good lads, and look, we should probably start this, thank you very much to Con and the Brighton Trophy Senate, to talk about the feels two highlights. feels good to say that. It feels great it to feels say that. really good. Yeah. Did it feel good yesterday when I sent you a video of not only do we have a mascot, which we're holding right now here, not only... Do we have a profitable podcast? <laughs> Ask now, though. $20. Major, major ticket holder. Yeah, we also have contra advertising. We, yes, we do. Absolutely. You sent me a little video of uh, the Brighton Trophy Centre. Um, what do you call those things? Like the scrolling yeah. text, text uh, banners. And it said, uh, everyone listen to the best team men, the best podcast in Adelaide. So... Yeah, and very we're, polite of him. Yeah, and it's look. Let's be honest. We've never let uh, the truth get in the way of our storytelling. However, I don't think we've really told a lie here before. We're not the best podcast in Adelaide. Let's be honest. No, we we're, are, a, we're a unique podcast. Yeah, we are a podcast in Adelaide. Yeah. That, funnily enough, Matt Burgess. <laughs> We got some statistics sent in to us from Andy Martin from our uh, Ozcast Network, and it's great to see and smell Andy today. <laughs> it's, been- um, <laughs> it's been a while. We've missed him. Yeah, so he sent us some stats, and the stats are remarkable. They're a little. They exceeded my expectations. Definitely. Well, it's unbelievable. Let's just – I'll give you probably the most exciting one, and that is I reckon this is this is our subscribers to our podcast. We have almost 100 subscribers. So these are people who have made a choice to subscribe to this, this whatever us, this is. Us. Mate, I didn't expect us to get 
five or six. No, I, I, like I said, it's definitely exceeded my expectations mm. and I'm very proud of what we've become. Yeah. Absolutely. We don't know what we are yet. No. Um, and it's weird that people are making these these choices to, to listen to us, which is brilliant. Um, but we should say thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. And we think we've got T-shirts that are available for Soon. purchase. Soon, maybe. We, we think. Out of COVID. Should we address this now? Yeah, I reckon let's do it now. Andy Martin from Ozcast Network, can you please make your way into the best team men change room? Oh, look at the strut on him. Oh, look at him. Oh, hello. There we go. He's um, obviously... Oh, yes. Yeah, so Andy was just holding on to his old mate. So this morning I put some Tiger Balm on my hammy because I've got a bad hammy. Yeah. And then a few minutes later I felt that cold sensation. Ooh. It was on one of my plums. Oh. Disgraceful. It, oh. Did it feel good at all? Uh, a little bit, yeah. but then funnily enough, I put it on Twitter and Chad Corns, you know, former Port Adelaide great, and he played for GWS as well. He uh, he responded and said he did that accidentally before a game once, and he played really well, and he kept doing it until his next bad game. Jeez, that's keen. That is keen. Andy. Yes, sir. Congratulations on the safe arrival of young Millie. Thank you very much, Lee. Uh, you obviously... I uh, haven't been listening to the past couple of episodes because... Uh, you've been listening to Garby instead. Yeah, you've been listening to Daniel <laughs> Carb's podcast. We have an agreement. Uh, yeah, it's I very have to obvious. listen to it. Yeah. No, it looks like you really... You know, well, we actually <laughs> thought you and Garby had the kid because you love him so much. <laughs> it's just the way he looks into my eyes. Yeah, yeah that's totally you know, fine. Yeah. It's his right. birthday today too. Happy birthday, Garby, you big sellout. Got a brand, um, <laughs> brand new podcast out today, by the way. Don't advertise his podcast. Uh, Matt Shervington. Oh, now. Oh, right. oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if you could see yeah. Shervo. We know yeah. Shervo. Yeah. How, much that, how much of that oil does Shervo need, do you reckon? Well, I tell you what, mate. Whenever I look at a photo of Shervo, it's not his face that I look at first. Yeah. I'm looking at the socks. old mate down the... Uh... <laughs> so it's sex sweat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. What has this become? <laughs> Andy, Matt, you, you tell, set up the story because Andy yeah. doesn't listen to the podcast. I okay. quickly set it up. So the last couple of weeks, we've sort of let everyone know that um, we received a, a really random text message from yourself saying, yeah. did either of us know... A guy called Arsenaldo Garcia <laughs> from um, Miami, Florida. And yeah. No, neither of us had heard of or even knew that he existed. So we replied no. And then you'd had then let us know that he'd purchased two best team men t shirts. Mm -hmm. So. Like I said, you hit me up very early in the piece, I reckon after one or two episodes, saying, what do you think of these? Should we get them done? And I, I really honestly cannot remember the outcome of that conversation. But it probably you've, wasn't one. You've obviously pulled the trigger it on it. So, no, no, no. So, so what happens is uh, as we're setting up you on our webpage, I always create two dummy pieces of merchandise so then we can then allocate that later on if you guys agree to or not but Great. He, he has actually found that <laughs> through our shop somehow yeah not through our website i don't know if he's hacking the place or what but yeah. um 4chan yeah yeah 4chan absolutely yeah. um <laughs> uh so yeah he's, he's purchased two t-shirts i thought it was a joke i mm. thought that's why i asked you guys so right. did we especially yeah. with the name yeah. yeah um but no he, he purchased them uh, there was one size that he wanted that we didn't have because of COVID. so uh he has to wait a few weeks for that one but he, right. got, he, he received the other one about uh early last week so, so, so he's, so he's got, one. got it yeah yeah okay yeah. We, we need to email him and ask for a picture yeah so do you have his contact details yes this that is, is amazing. <laughs> Give us a round of applause, Andy. We try, we'll Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, shit. <laughs> that That's awesome. Okay, so what do the T-shirts look like? Um, they're pretty average. Uh, <laughs> That's perfect for our brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. No, literally, it says um, it just says in in text, "Best team men." Yeah. In podcast in brackets. Yeah. And then that's it. So, how do we get these? Because I'll wear it everywhere. Will you? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then we we followed that on, and we yeah. said, okay, so Arsenaldo Garcia, mm -hmm. um, the the younger, uh, not as uh, athletic or good looking as Cristiano Ronaldo. It's his crappier brother, Arsenaldo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he has purchased these and we've got $20 sitting there in a kitty. So the best team men in the club rooms has 20 bucks sitting in our kitty. Towards yeah. our end of season trip. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we've got to invoice you for that basically before the end of the week for tax purposes. <laughs> yeah, 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 just for Bass, uh, make sure we pay those GST dollars, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Okay, so we need to then work out what we can do. Can we put the... $20 back into the podcast somehow, but I don't know how. You can buy yourself a t-shirt. There you go. 
Wait a sec. So what you're saying is we <laughs> have to <laughs> buy, our, buy own. our own T-shirt. Yeah, and then you get profit off that. Oh, well, so you're reinvesting so yourself. <laughs> you lose oh, money, yeah. but you okay. get a T-shirt. Yeah, perfect. So we, how much is a T-shirt? Oh, for you, uh, 50 bucks. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, off the top of my head, I think it's $29. $29. Yeah. Including postage. No. No. Okay. okay. So, so has tra- asked Naldo paid for his own postage? How did well, that the work? the weird thing is it comes from America, but he pays international shipping. Right. This yeah. is amazing. Okay. Just the way, because, you know, yeah. we didn't expect anyone to really buy them from the US. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Andy, that is brilliant. Um, so we'll work with you over the next week on getting... Ask Naldo's details. However, we need to be careful about it because you can't legally, I think, give us his details. No, so- but I can drop a post-it note on the ground. Oh, <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Perhaps we could draft up an email for yeah. you on behalf of Ozcast to send to Ask Naldo yes, Garcia and say, mate, let us know what you think of the T-shirt. Can, yes. we have a, can we have a picture in it? Have you heard of the podcast? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's your favourite episode? Well, I wonder, I wonder if you'll disappear in the news in like the riots over there just wearing best team men t-shirt. That would be horrific, but also great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Andy Absolutely. Martin, thank you very much for that. Good on you're you, more Andy. than welcome. You're a thank great you, man. Mate. Congratulations once again. If you want to do some podvertising, go on. Tri- tri- oh, you're going to, yep, do it. Well done, mate. That's great. <laughs> well, that was great. And it's great to have Andy back in here. Oh, oh. <laughs> It was great to have Andy oh, back in here. Uh, yeah, so that's great. We've we've addressed that. Uh, what we haven't addressed is what happened on Friday night. So you and I have. It was great because what we used to do is we used to send SMSs when they were back then to each other. Now they're I messages um, yep. to to update on what's going on on a particular night. And we were watching the footy together technically because your missus was away. Yeah, she was out for the night, and um, I had the house to myself, which was. Great. Brilliant. So before you chuck lobster tube on, you uh, checked out the footy, which was absolutely brilliant. It okay? was, yeah. Bit of biff. Bit of biff. Loved it. Exactly. Um, what was unique about our text message exchange was the fact that after we were going back and forth and you sent me a picture of yourself in your doona <laughs> watching the footy. I did too, yeah. Um, here's the message. Ordered a bottle of Pepsi Max on Uber Eats. Lol. Cost me $13.40. And my response was, you legit (laughs) ordered one bottle. Then you've sent the screenshot. So you've got this from the foodery by Caltech Starmart in Ranella. Yep. One Pepsi Max, 600 mil. Total (laughs) $13.49. What the fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) All right, let me set the scene for you. It's pretty thought, obvious. No, no, there's not a lot to set <laughs> up. But I was at home. The missus was out. She'd taken the dog. I was sitting there on the couch. It was cold. It was raining. It was no good. Yeah. And um, I had a look in the fridge, and there was <laughs> there was about three 1.25 litres of Pepsi Max and Sunkiss, but they, I knew they were old, and I knew that they were flat, and no one wants to drink flat. Why are they still drink. in your fridge then? Chuck yeah, them they're out. not there anymore. You pig. Okay, so yeah. they're gone now. Okay. But I was sitting there, and I was you know scrolling through Uber Eats Ooh. because I um, <laughs> thought, you know. Is that you? I don't know. Okay. I was scrolling through Uber Eats. You know, am I, could I get a McFlurry and a, you know, a, a drink or a shake or something like that from McDonald's? Yeah. And then I've stumbled across the, it's called the foodery, but it's basically just a Caltech service station. It's the servo. Yeah, Caltech. And I, mate, there's some remarkable things you can get off that. So a lot of household items and stuff like that if you're ever needing. And I can't, This isn't an ad for the foodery. No, it's not, but I'm just telling you where my head went with it all. So I found a um, yeah, 600 ml bottle of Pepsi Max and I had a real craving for soft drink. What did the Uber Eats driver or rider say to you when they dropped it off? Uh, not a lot. No. No. Okay. So, how far from your house is the foodery? Um, oh, it'd probably be two kilometres. Two k. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, two and a half at a stretch. Right. So, yeah. if you're thinking a 600 mil bottle of Pepsi Max, um, we're looking around the what four dollars? Yeah, four fifty. I think it was. Okay. So you've chucked what you've chucked nine bucks on there for delivery. Well, no, the- it must be more than that. It must be. I don't know. I could have been stitched up here to be honest, because yeah, maybe it was around six fifty. Okay. So you so six fifty. And therefore, you have seven dollars. I think was six ninety nine was the delivery fee. Right. So you've got about seven bucks to play with. Yeah. The petrol that would have cost you to drive there. Yep. Would have been not even that. No, it would have been a few cents. I would have thought. 
So I'll repeat. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know. Is that the first time you've done something like that? Uh, no. I got a power oh. raid from Subway once on Uber Eats. Of course you did. Yeah, it was, I was hung over that day, so that was probably just. Do you have a good rating on Uber Eats? Uh, well, I always show up and pick up my food, so yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I think mine's really bad because I look for things wrong with it. Actually, no, I've made a lot of complaints and yeah. got money back, so yeah, 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 probably not, no. It's kind of fun because the frustration of the food coming late or having a hair in it, which obviously isn't <laughs> mine, is like, oh, that's gross. I'll eat it, yeah. but complain and get my money back. Free food. Free food, yeah. And I think the other thing that in my head justified it was I got paid Friday. So my bank okay. account was healthy. Yeah. I only treat myself here. Treat yourself yep. on a $14 bottle of Pepsi <laughs> and Max. And I absolutely treated myself. Because you enjoyed it? Yeah. Enjoyed the Pepsi Max too. Oh, God. Um, no, don't, you don't deserve Oh, don't press it. You're pressing the wrong button. Stop it. Sorry. We found the button. <laughs> we found the little MIDI pad yeah. with a little bunch of it's noises. It's brilliant. We actually, let's get ready to use that right now. Yes. So, um, uh, Friday night, we're also um, probably sitting back with a little bit of trepidation because on last week's round, um, I, again, got a little bit emotional, which I'm trying to be positive now and, and stepping away from that because my friend is the block button on social media, which is brilliant. And... Um, it's good. The, I'm feeling better. Um, the cold's great. And you went hard on one of the uh, team members on um, uh, Pressbox EP, which is one of four uh, podcasts called uh, Pressbox, Pressbox EP or EP. Pre- Pressbox. What is the EP? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, Exclusive I was, I was, podcast. I was trying to work that out, but I don't actually know. We might have to actually ask the boys and, and find that one out. Yeah, so you had a real crack at one of the team members in um, Jay Sean Kemp. I return serve. Because I copped it from him in their previous episode. Yeah, and it was really good for me to sit back because um, Sam Tugwell, I look, I, I gave him a compliment sandwich. I had a fair crack at him, but uh, he gave a couple back rightly deserved. And we're like, you know what? Um, I think we're all good, me and Tuggers. Um, we had a glass of wine, actually, and he said the nose on the wine was brilliant. <laughs> so, what do you mean? We did. Okay. No, nah, we didn't. So... We are now. Can I also just say very quickly? I've got yeah. a honking nose. My nose is horrible. So anything that I say to Sam Tugwell is done with love, and it, like it's just a beautiful exchange of words. But you took it up a notch last week, and you had a real crack at Sean Kemp. I did have a crack at him. Absolutely, absolutely. He had a crack at me the week before. I'm not yeah. just going to sit back and cop that. No. So we were waiting on Friday night, thinking, okay, so the boys are going to record on Monday night. Big sporting weekend as well, because the Crows were woeful. Yep. Um, there was a fair bit going on with Essendon and COVID. Yep. Uh, Hugh Greenwood had a crack at Mark Rusciuto on social media. They had a back and forth, and I was like, wait, I tell you what, the boys on the press box EP are going to talk about, and that stuff. And it's not like, us. Then maybe they're going to give us a miss. When I say us, you know, we're a team. We yep. work together, you and I. Yes, we do. So I thought, let's just wait and see. On Monday, I went into my place of work and said to uh, Sam Tugwell, the leader of Pressbox EP, and said, what's happening when are you recording? He said, nine o'clock tonight. Do you want to come on? I'm like, no chance. Because <laughs> nine o'clock at night, that's like I've got night, a, yeah, a young daughter yeah. and um, yeah. a, a family and it's nine o'clock at night, mate. Come on, just relax. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm 36. I don't, I'm in bed. You're in bed by then. It's yeah. exactly right. Absolutely. So the following day, once the episode dropped, you messaged me. I was walking into our chemist warehouse to get some medication because my thumb's all messed up. Yep. And- then you just – well, I reckon you should take it from me. Well, I, I was expecting, um, you know, as good as I gave from Jace. You gave it you pretty know, good. I, I gave it pretty good. But then, you know, Jace came out on Twitter and said, give me the first 10 minutes. As straight you, away. Straight away. Give me the first 10. He can't wait. He was counting down the minutes until he could get on. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm still waiting to hear what he had to say. Yeah, so basically he said, give me the first 10 minutes. We were waiting for a huge whack, and all we heard was... You've pressed the wrong button. It's the green one. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. You've pressed... I can edit that. I don't think you should edit it because it kind of (laughs) makes our podcast the fact that you've pressed every button. Say it again. Say it again. No, I can't. Say it again. Um... I don't know what I said. We're waiting for a whack and all we got was... <laughs> now, <laughs> good to see you press the right <laughs> the button. Right I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try and distance myself from this because... Okay. No, I'm not. Nah, don't. I'm not going to get personal because I haven't had much to do with um, Sean Kemp before and I reckon he seems like a good lad. Um, 
And shout out to Dustin Fletcher, who... He's quickly becoming my favourite on that show. Why? He brings plenty to the table. Yeah? Yep. He's concise, knows what he's talking about. But he's about. warming up for a whack. He is warming up, yep. But yeah. that's fine. I encourage that. He's, he's entitled to that. Okay. So, what are we thinking about what happened? Because I was expecting... You, as an observer, as an outsider, because Sam said that he and I broke bread. Yep. I don't even know what that saying means, by the way. What does that mean we broke bread? Um, well, you, I'm trying to lose someone, weight. Some, so <laughs> someone bought, one of you two bought a loaf of bread. You snapped it in half. You sat there and ate it and all was good in the world. I don't know what break bread means. I could not think of anything worse than eating just a loaf of bread with someone. Right. If there's, what, what did we have on the, the bread? Bit of butter. Did we? Oh, Nutalex? Nutalex. Who yeah. knows? Hundreds and thousands. Okay, so we broke a loaf of bread, yes, right? Yes, you broke bread. All's good now, between you and Tuggers. Yeah, we're totally fine. I was expecting a big whack. And then Sean Kemp has said, you know what, mate? Give me 10 minutes. I'll be back in a week. <laughs> it's a long 10 minutes. But he's preparing something yeah. to come at both of us. That's right. That's what he has said. That's what he said in, in on the press box the last last. EP, the last episode. Yeah. Um, that oh, is that what it is? Episode? Maybe. Okay. The press box episode. Anyway. So, yeah, he's come out and said that, no, he needs more time. Mm. He needs a week mm. and he's got something huge and it's grenades, he said. He's going to be throwing grenades at us. Because the thing so. he said before was, and the only comment I will make directed at you, Jason, is you made a factual error in your opening statement. And as a journalist... I thought better. I know it's not a good time for sports journalists at the moment, but all I will say is you are factually incorrect. You said that we were a sports podcast. We are certainly not that, my friend. We may be accidentally in the sports category, <laughs> but we don't talk sport on here. No. And as you rightly so, and as you rightly have had a fair chance of listening to Triple M's The Rub consistently... You said all they do is talk about me, 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 me. <laughs> Come on, Damo. So that's that's the only thing I'm going to say. We're not a sports podcast. No, and we, if you, and he said he listened to the last episode. He clearly didn't because we state very early on we don't talk a lot of sport. I listened to their whole podcast and I really enjoy it. I actually really enjoy it, and I think they had a really good take on what's going on with the crows and Rashudo. Yeah. Um, and they got fun little segments, which is great. Um. So uh, what they're going to do, and we've, we've spoken about this for too long. I don't want to make every podcast a, a, a dig back and forth because I'm a lover, not a fighter. That's right. Um, you can do the fighting. I'll do the loving. <laughs> and I love it when you fight. Um, am I boring you? No, not at all. Every time Fuck. we do this podcast, <laughs> you start looking at your phone. <laughs> so they said, uh, Jay said that he's going to get a special guest on next week that's just going to surprise all of us. And... <laughs> we we could play this one of two ways. We could. But I think it's important to list off the people that you probably are going to get on and ruin the surprise. <laughs> so the first person that you probably will try to get on is... Daniel Garb. Happy birthday, Garby. And that's great. We're looking forward to that if you get Garby on. Obviously, he's part of the Ozcast Network and obviously Andy Martin wants to kiss him on the face <laughs> because he promotes him more than he promotes his own family, which is brilliant. The other people that you could get on, Glenn Aikman, you could get a Zoom call from Yatla. Yes. Totally fine. Go for it. Um, you could try and get Con from Brighton Trophy Centre. No chance though, mate. That's not happening. He's, he's our, our boy. boy. Yep. That's about it. That's it. Apart from our wives. Yeah, you could get my wife on if you want. I don't know what she's going to say. <laughs> so, Good luck. So, yeah, come on, Kempi, throw all the grenades I'm thinking it's Garby. I think it's Garby as well. Yeah. No, Stevie Wonder can see that, yeah. honestly. There's a thing going around saying that Stevie Wonder isn't blind. Really? Yeah. He's a hell of a piano player. He's a hell of a piano player, mate. And actually, I read an article about him um, that why he doesn't like skydiving because it scares the shit out of his dog, apparently. <laughs> Oh, can I say God. that? Yes, yeah, no, you yeah, can, yeah. you can, you can. Hey, while we're talking about other podcasts, the Wait, sounding just board. Stop for one okay, second. Sorry. Just stop. Sorry. No, you're right. We didn't, well, let's make a pact from here. Yep. Because one of my uh, pet hates on podcasts is when they get repetitive on in jokes and things like that. Yes. So after they whack us next week, yep. and rightly so, whack us about the way we look. All that, I'm bringing it, whatever. Absolutely. Let's leave it. We're done. Yeah. Yep. Let's leave it until we appear on their podcast in a civil matter. Which, it's not which gonna... they have invited us to do yeah, definitely. in studio. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
they probably have to fumigate Oscast Network if they, we wanted to get the boys in here to have a chat and probably get a bit of Glen 20. So <laughs> continue. Okay, so we're talking obviously about the press box being another podcast. Yeah. There's another podcast that you're really into. Yeah, the Sounding Board. Yes, with Hutchie and Damo. Yeah, correct. Really good one. They've been doing it for about five years now, and they analyze everything to do with media. You met Hutchie. Well, I did meet Hutchie, and it, this is brought to my attention by listening to the Sounding Board today. And here's a bit of question time. Have a listen to this. Yeah. When you are preparing to write a piece criticising a friend... Oh, here we go, here we go. ...circumstance of society, but there's been a little bit more here to, is, to deal with. This is Jared Walsh. who's doing great things in South Australia, Damo, in, uh, at Nova, where he's moved. Uh, just Hutch FYI, I've been at Nova 16 years. <laughs> 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 oh, let's keep going. Oh. Um, yep, one of, the, one of the leading Adelaide media identities. Mm, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you ask James Brayshaw. <laughs> When you are preparing to write a piece criticising a friend such as Damo and Rue, mm. do you call them Good question. to give them a heads up or wait for them to find out like the Good question. What do you guys think? Is it rules for some that you're giving all What do you think? This is a great question, Jared. Good- Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Damo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so hang on. You wrote in. I wrote in. Oh, They read it out. Beautiful. Yeah. That's amazing. Been in over 16 years. Yeah, Working but you 5AA that. as well now. Yeah. yeah it's totally but fine. But since you've moved to Nova, you've become one of the state's yeah. leading media personalities. But I got a bit of a buzz, which is great. So thank you very much. So I've met Hutchie right. once before in the toilet. I've got this weird thing of meeting blokes in toilets. Yeah. And that's a weird sentence to isolate. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he was he was doing stuff for Croc Media, I think, in the, um, the Nova building one day. And I walked in and I'm like, who is this man doing a urine? And like... <laughs> You know, in the urinal, if you go in and it's one which is like in the corner of the wall, go to the far left if you're going to do a wee-wee. Correct. Because someone has to walk behind you. Yep. And it was weird. He was on the far right. Yep. But I was just looking at him when he walked back. I'm like, look at him. It's Hutchie. I'm like, get out. Hutchie's like, yep. It's, like, it's real <laughs> awkward when you, you- How long ago was this? Oh, this would have been four or five years ago. I actually spoke to Hutchie about a job um, uh, about th- three or four years ago. Yep. And um, they were keen to get me involved with doing some stuff over here, and it just it just didn't work out. But I had um I had a, a Skype call and everything with him. He's, right. he's a good guy. I like yeah. him. He's smart. He's um he's very focused on what he wants to do. They and say he's a bit more powerful than Eddie. He's got more money. He's very and, powerful. Yeah. And you know what I like about him? He's um he's a thinker. Like he thinks outside the box, and he's progressive. Um, we need to be progressive now as well. So he's a he's a really a really big thinker, and uh, yeah, it was great. So you met him four or five years ago. You've had a almost a job interview with him, yep. and he still thinks you've just moved to Nova. Yeah, but that's okay, that's mate. Okay. I've said this from day one. I'm a nobody, mate, so I don't expect people to know who I am. I get home sometimes, and my missus doesn't know who I am, <laughs> and that is completely fine. So that was the time that um, I uh, did meet uh, Craig Hutchison, uh, kind of. Um, two more things. Yeah. Because I've, I've got to go in a sec. You can um, work. Yeah, go to radio show. Um, three more things. Yep. Our listeners, we need to display something to send love to them because we love giving shout outs, but we forget someone every time we do a podcast. We do. If we have forgotten giving you a shout out, let us know. What's our social media? At Best Team Men on Twitter and Facebook.com forward slash Best Team Men. Even if you send us a DM. Look for the gold trophy. There you go. Um, And we are going to find a way to... um, to say thank you for listening. Now, a thought that I had was we get Con involved at Brighton Trophy Centre. Yep. And the money that we make from Arsenaldo Garcia, yep. we get a little plaque yep. and we engrave their names. Perfect. So, I rate that. as you said uh, a couple of days ago, these are our foundation members. Yes, they are. And it's great to have people listening because... I feel like it's kind of like being a foundation member of the Gold Coast Suns. Yeah, definitely. We're not going to win a game for the next five years, but there will be a time that more people will enjoy listening to us. But what was your mate, old mate, the toilet cleaner? Hector. Hector, Hector. the cleaner, said he likes listening and having a giggle. Even Tuggers said, "Well, um, I like having a giggle at stuff. The thing with Hector is he cleans toilets at high schools. Yeah. So he's he's, he's hiding out in a toilet in a high school having a giggle. And that's so great. If anyone, I mean, it's past, not great. Yeah, no, it's, it's a bit, a bit weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to find a way to uh, to thank you guys. Um, yes or no? It, when someone sends you a message and you want to write something back, oh wait a sec. Uh-oh. No, I've got 
also something to raise with you. <laughs> yeah. And I was also just going to say, the people who do the thumbs up or the ha-ha on the message when you write back, you know how you hold down on the message and you select what to do. Yep. I was going to say, they are absolute wankers. Then I look at the message I've sent <laughs> no, you and do you've it. done it. <laughs> I've only just, it's a new thing for me. I've only just started doing it. Yeah. And you also let me down because I forgot leaving last week's um episode and round that you said when you were whacking Sean Kemp yeah. that, mate, I tried to hit you up for a podcast and you decided to go with your journo mates. And I'm sitting here like chopped liver going, hold on. So <laughs> I'm your second choice. The same could be said for you though. Yeah. Because when I did hit you up, you said, oh, I'm getting involved in another one, which I think at the time I'd have been with Kane Corns. Oh, that went well. Well, it's was still, you know, still prevented us from getting a an Yeah, early that's start, true. So. But Look, I, I like it because that's kind of what we do. Yeah. Where that's everything shit about us <laughs> is reflective of <laughs> best right. team men. Absolutely. Which I think is brilliant. Um so by this time next round, we are going to find a way how we can thank all of our listeners. Um, because we do appreciate we we do talk a bit of shit, which is Great, because we love it. That's absolutely right. We do love it. And we've also got to organise a session with the Port Pirates too. Oh, which yes. Gonna, which okay. we're going to do very soon. So, so we can do that. Let's do that next week. Yes. I will contact Port Pirates today. Speaking of sad news about the Port area, yep. I saw that LT's club, former club Portland, they're out this year. They're done. Done. Wow. Okay, I didn't see that. Yeah, well, I'm breaking. You telling me breaking sports news breaking on a not really sports podcast. Where are you, press box? Um, <laughs> they would have. They would they have broken, broken that before that. us. I want to give a shout out to one of our um, foundation members as well, and that is Glenn Hawk. Just want to send you some love, mate. He listens to us all the time. Um, obviously, with what's going on with fan engagement and um, events around uh, Australia at the moment, there's been a lot of downtime. A lot of people reflecting on their lives and all that stuff. I want to send some love to him for no particular reason other than that I love him and I love you love what a great too. you see you feel the, the energy yeah, I've got today yeah I, I love it you're back I'm back you I reckon. are back yeah, yeah I'm back no, no strong... give me a sound effect <laughs> nope <laughs> none of... uh, see ya bye are you a podcaster maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join the multi award winning Ozcast network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world Join now for the first month free, and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details.